Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So <clears throat> you probably just carved this guy with me. And what we're going to do now is we're going to finish him. Now, over on Instagram, Whittler's Green, the fellow who I'm emulating with this carving, uh, he does it an ebonizing solution. That's what he uses to uh, get that darkish color for the fur and whatnot. But I don't have any ebonizing solution. I haven't played around with that much, so I'm not going to do that today. What I'm going to use is some Watco Dark Danish oil and you can see the overlay right there so that's what I'm going to be using and then I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of paste natural finishing wax and I'm not going to do the hands the feet or the face with the Watco so I'm going to selectively apply it just to the fur and then the dark finishing wax will put a little color to his hands face and feet which will finish him out quite nicely for us and I'm going to do something a little different I'm going to put a little white paint on the teeth we're going to go ahead and get started with that. So this is just regular white, nothing fancy. Let's get that back out so you can get a little bit further out and see this thing. And we'll jump right into it. These painting videos are a little less uh, organized, I guess you could say, than our video on carving. I don't what's the way to put it? I don't uh, try to make it as structured with the painting videos. They're a little more free. I'm just putting that white paint on the teeth using a small brush here. I am not watering it down at all. Just some nice bright white. The wax, the dark wax we put on there should weather the teeth a little bit and put a little color in between them, which should make a neat effect. This could very well fail <clears throat> and look terrible. And if it does, well, c'est la vie. <laughs> but I don't think it will. I think it's gonna look pretty good. <clears throat> so this is a small brush, just a regular cheap Hobby Lobby pack I got. Nothing special about the brush whatsoever. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. I'm I cleared my throat there. Alrighty. Almost got that painted. I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss any little spots in between those teeth. So we'll give them a big white toothy grin. And so that's how that looks. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to clean this brush off real fast. Get the little white paint out of the way. Get a little bit of water here. For that paintbrush. And then uh, over here, I have a little eyedropper to clean off my table here. This is probably not the way people should use their paint, but when I'm just doing one little thing, I don't mind. <clears throat> and that works out pretty well for me. Okay, now I'm gonna use a hair dryer, so uh, give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I have got that hair dried now and dried those teeth up real good. So now I'm gonna take this Watco Danish oil and we're going to go ahead and use some pipe cleaners to wipe it on here. And I'm also going to use a paintbrush to get uh, little details and whatnot nearby. Okay, so with this pipe cleaner, I just kind of twist it like so, bend it over, and I use that to apply things. <clears throat> then I'm going to use this paintbrush here as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, start this. The bigger portions. A little bit easier like this back here and i'm just going to wipe it on make sure we get all up in these crevices nothing complicated so give them some color and i like this danish oil because you can really see the wood grain underneath it real easily and when i apply that wax and buff it I really like the look of it. I think it makes one of the best finishes basswood can have. 
Now, I need to try that eponizing solution because what I see on Noah's Instagram page really looks fantastic. All of the work he does, I have been envious of his Bigfoots for quite some time. So I've been wanting to try my hand at one in the style that he does. <clears throat> I asked him before I made this uh, video, hey, do you mind if I give this a shot? Um, I'm obviously studying your work and emulating your work heavily. What's your thoughts on that? And he said, go ahead. He looked forward to seeing the video. So if anyone's wondering about that, because I'm talking so much about him. Yes, I did talk to him beforehand. I don't want to step on people's toes, especially in the, in the carving community. So many people are absolutely fantastic and wouldn't have an issue with it. But uh, talking to people before you do something like that is still just the right thing to do, I think. All righty. Yeah, this is going to look so good. I like the way it's turning out. Getting kind of close to those edges of the hand here with this. But I have that paintbrush here to switch over to if I need to. And I'm going to do that here in a little bit to like get around that face. Just trying to get kind of like the big areas here to the chest and down the arms. Into these crevices. Because this thing can hold a little bit. So I can kind of drip it into these crevices here. Let's soak in all the spots where the... Uh, pipe cleaner can't really fit into right but I want to be careful not to get it on the feet or hands because I want those to be colored by the wax We're not going to do too much more with this pipe cleaner. I'll say this too, uh, here soon, for those of you who are interested, I'm going to have some carving stickers available in my Etsy shop. And uh, I'll be putting those in videos as a way that you can support the channel if you want to. You can buy a sticker. It's an easy way to lend a hand, help me buy new things. Like I'd like to get a, I'd like to get better camera equipment. I'd like to get a better microphone. A couple things I'd like to do to make this uh, whole thing a little bit better to increase the quality of the videos that I'm giving you guys. So if you want to help support that kind of thing, you can uh, get some of those stickers when I get them listed on the Etsy store. Plus it gives you something fun to put on your carving tote or, uh, well, on anything you want to. Water bottles or whatever. Okay, so I got that done as much, much as I can with that let's grab this paintbrush and now we'll get in here a little bit closer and get right up that stop cut along the feet yeah It'll work out just fine and some of this you just kind of get nearby and let it soak in and the wood grain will pull it in that direction which is kind of what i'm doing here on the hand i'm letting the wood grain pull it in a little bit toward that hand i'm not getting too heavy over there it's pulling in just fine but i need to get right here behind the hand and then up under the hand. I probably should clean that edge up a little bit more, but that's okay. When you're doing your carving, make sure you clean that edge up underneath the hand a little bit more than I did. And you can absolutely stop right now, if you hadn't, and fix it. But this is probably going to go on my desk at work. So I'm not too worried about it. Alrighty. Yeah, that's going to look fantastic. Just lightly do that. The other side, too. Just lightly. Take it. I filled it up with the solution, and then I touched the side of the bowl to, like, let a little bit of it out. Right? I don't want it, like, chock full of this oil when I do this. I don't want it to run all over the place. Just put enough on the brush. 
so I can coat the areas I need to. I'm being careful because even the gloves on, this uh, <clears throat> initial will get on the gloves, and if I touch an area that hasn't been done, it will come off on that area. So I'm trying to be careful and be mindful of that. Just making sure you're aware of what every step is, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. That's looking so neat. I really like the way that's turning out. I promised myself I wasn't going to do another video where I showed Danish oil and uh, wax. But this guy felt different because we're not doing the whole thing. I'm only doing part of him. And so I thought, okay, well, I'll do one more while I show that because this guy's a little bit different. So here's what we got so far, right? That's looking pretty good. And you could just stop right there. You could just say, that's it. I'm done. I don't want to do anything more, but uh, I kind of do want to do more. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to just try to soak up any of that excess. I don't want to rub too much because I don't want to rub that Danish oil onto the areas that I haven't done yet, right? So I'm going to rub that Danish oil off. I'm going to try to do it away from those areas that haven't been applied without dropping him if I can. Like so. Okay. That's pretty good. I really like that, actually. That's fantastic. Okay. So, that brush is going to be clean. It's an oil, but uh, that water's done for anyway, so that away and uh it's back on you'll see like this is the reason i have this in a mason jar is because you'll see like the edges it kind of gums up so the the container that the uh danish oil came in originally i'm not using very much of it at a time it was gumming up and getting stuck and mason jar is easier to open so i poured it in this mason jar just for safekeeping because it's easier to get it open and closed than that little flimsy jar that they had on the original container and uh yeah, in case you're wondering what's going on there and why I was doing that. That's the reason. Okay. Now we're going to wax this guy with this paste dark finishing wax. And uh, this stuff is pretty good. I like it. I'm going to take a moment here a second and I'm going to heat it up to melt this stuff a bit. That way it's easier to apply. So give me a moment. Okay. Once you heat it up, however you choose to heat it up you see it's a little bit easier to get into something now and I'm just going to use a regular old toothbrush and rub it in to these surfaces and we're going to rub it in to the paws the hands and it'll color that stuff just slightly Let's that stuff off in there Spasta, like concentrate on too, are the end grain. That will really soak this stuff up pretty good. And then the face as well as the hands, because you want to apply relatively evenly. So like, look at that face. You have to get between the teeth a little bit too. They're real, real heavy. We're going to use the hair dryer to melt it a little bit on the carving and then I'll use my buffing brush and buff it off. I should have melted this a little bit more. Well, that's okay. You notice at the bottom I didn't uh, put any blade marks. I didn't try to flatten that out. I like to leave the bottom because I want it to be as flat as possible that they don't get wobbling on me carvings but uh, 
see how much different it takes the wax and the sides do. That's a uh, case in point for every time you hear me say, make sure you get all the saw marks off because it will take wax, stain, paint differently and it does not look as good. Like I said, I'm not worried about because that's the bottom of the carving. No one's really going to see it unless they pick the carving up and look around. And even then, no one judges the bottom of a carving usually. But, uh, yeah. So, we've got this wax in pretty good. And then we'll uh, heat them up with a hairdryer and we'll buff it all off. But, I'm just going to keep making sure I've got pushed in. And I'll tell you this too, the way the wax feels in your hand after you get it done, it is really nice. It's a good feel. So like if, you're, if, it's, a, if it's a carving you're going to be handling, the wax really protects it. And it gives that carving this feel of a, a finished wood piece that's not quite like like BLO or Howard Speed and Wax. If you use this regular paste finishing wax, it is a significant difference in the way a carving feels in your hand. So uh, I like it for that because I'm a, I'm a tactile person. Plus, like if I'm going to sell this at a fair or something like that, or I'm going to show it to somebody, that feeling when they get in their hand, they're like, wow, it just feels finished. It feels quality more so than Howard's Feed and Wax does or something else. So, okay, I have a brush, and I'm going to say this because maybe you didn't watch the other videos. This brush I do not use for brushing my carvings. This is the brush I use brush my carvings. This brush is only for buffing off wax. Okay, that's why it's got that uh, little darkness to it. So I use it with this Waco Danish oil and, and paste natural finishing wax or paste dark finishing wax. That's the only thing this brush is used for. So there's a little bit of wax in this brush already, but it allows me to do this and not dirty up another brush. Because if I try to do this, use this brush on any other carving, it is absolutely going to leave wax on it and a little bit of stain, and it's going to look terrible. <laughs> but this will look great. And look at that. Look at that right there. I love that. I love that look so much. <laughs> it looks gorgeous to me. We might not have to heat this up too much. I think it's doing pretty well. Because I didn't do too much wax on it. I didn't get it hot enough. So I think this is just going to be just fine without heating it up. Yep. But that's an option you can do if you need to. If it's too built up in certain nooks and crannies, you know, if there's too much wax built up, just take that uh, hair dryer, heat it up, and once you see it start to melt, you'll see it kind of come out of the wood a little bit. You just go ahead and brush real good, brush it off, and there we go. He's all done. All right, folks, thank you very much, and uh, that's this video. If this video was of any worth to you whatsoever, then uh, stop, stop right now, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below telling me so, because that will really help me out. I'm trying to get this video to as many more people as I can to spread wood carving and hopefully get more people into the hobby, and I'd like your help if you'll be willing. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching the video so far, and uh, don't forget to come follow me on Instagram, connect the community, say hello, and uh, show me what you're carving. See those other links on the screen? Watch one of those other videos. They're going to help you out. They're going to help you out. You in particular, yeah, you, they're going to help you out. Watch those videos, and you have yourself a good day.